Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Schism Mysterious Journey. This is a game that I have heard much about uh, through a couple of sources, actually. One of them has been other YouTube channels. Um, I subscribe, as some of you might uh, have guessed, I subscribe to a number of channels that have similar types of games, mainly adventure games. And this is often one of the most requested ones. And yet it doesn't seem to be all that popular. Like, a lot of people... Like, the people who know it are really excited about it. It's one of those kinds of things. Um, the other source of information that I heard about this through was actually through an electronic store that I went to way back in the day that sold Mac games, back when that was kind of a niche thing. I mean, I guess it still is, but at the time, you know, not many electronic stores that weren't Apple stores actually sold games for Macs. And uh, this was one of those. And um, basically, it sounds like it's a very Myst-esque game. It uh, came out in 2001, as you can see here at the uh, bottom, by an indie company called LK Avalon. This was, I guess, kind of before indie games became cool. So kind of around that time when REM was coming out, I guess. Um, but from what I can tell, this game definitely has a little bit better production quality than REM does. So I'm excited about it. So a few things before we jump in here. One of them is that this Let's Play is going to be completely blind. Um, I'm nervous about doing this because I know I'm going to get stuck. I've heard that this game is very difficult, but I'm going to try to cut out a lot of needless walking around if it's if I know it's needless walking around. I mean, if I'm musing and trying to gather some thoughts, I won't cut that out, but if I'm just meandering around not knowing what to do, I'll probably stop recording and then come back when I'm a little bit more cognizant of what's happening. So, there's that. Um, the other thing is that, from what I understand, this game has a... Uh, kind of 360 degree node based form of navigation kind of like Mist 3 did which also came out in 2001 so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like um, let's go and get started and see what happens oh and one more thing um, sorry just one more thing well, the only thing I know about this game is that you control two characters uh, hence the title I guess and I'm curious to know if it's kind of like King's Quest 7 where you control two different characters and they kind of go through the same locations but in a different order and they get to do uh, different things or if it's something completely different so we'll see how it, we'll see how it is so let's get started with a new game whoa and now back to Eye of the World oh. <laughs> that startled me <laughs> okay we got some news thing here tonight's special feature an eye on the world exclusive the Argulus mission are jealous, what okay. really happened? I'll, I'll shut up. We found Argillus ten months ago. A Class A, M-type planet with clear signs of settlement. Towns, cities, industry, amazing bioorganic technology, but all abandoned. Not ruined, abandoned. No one there, just like that ship, the Mary Celeste. Signs of habitation everywhere, but no people. It meant immediate quarantine, of course. The whole Argillus system, a no-go zone. Off-limits. You can't take chances. But Earth Central wanted answers, too. Four months ago, they sent in three science teams to set up bases. All experienced first contact specialists. That meant support, which is why we were there. We were the first cargo drop since those teams went in. But no one was answering. Channels were open. Systems online. But there was nothing. No sign of the mission orbiter, and the three sites just weren't responding. Damned, if we'd only known what to do. Repeat, Argelus. This is ECS Angel. Please confirm approach vector or initiate upload. Over. Repeat, Argelus. This is Angel. Do you copy? Nothing, Sam. Frequencies clean and clear. No one's home. It's this interference they warned us about. Never seen a magnetosphere like it. I'm taking us closer, Hannah. Put that on repeat and try the scanners again. There's nearly a hundred scientists down there. Or there were a hundred. We should notify Central while we've still got the beacon. Agreed. And ask if we can access that classified 902 now. Tell them. We are going to need a full mission briefing if we have to. Damn! We've lost everything. We'll have to abandon ship. But Sam, can't we try to deflect using our... We're too deep in the gravity well. The pods are our only chance. We'll rendezvous at base one.
that's how we came to Argelus. Two space jockeys with a bit of Xeno training, but no idea of what we'd find. And not even the mission briefing we were meant to get once we'd made contact with the science teams. All that was lost with Angel. We could only pray we'd make it. Okay, so, um, that was the intro, I guess. I, uh, I think this is basically a flashback where the adventure is happening as uh, the story that as part of the story that they're telling and that's the news briefing thing is like a framing device for it so yeah voice acting is not exactly the best but uh, let's see what we got here so apparently Anna, it's Sam do you copy? oh okay you can switch here okay I'll put this on record in case you can read it later I've come down in some sort of balloon field it's amazing I'm actually on one whoa I'd have to be two, three thousand feet above the largest continent. These things drift with the wind, but I'm presently at 70926. That's latitude 2152 south, longitude 3314 west. There's nobody here. I'll look around and see if I can find some way down to the surface. Try to reach base one. I'll stay in touch, maniac. Okay, so is this like a compass thing, or what is that? I have no idea. Oh. So, he's got a more complete one, and I've got, like, or she's got a more, or less complete one? Let's start with her, because we, she was the first screen that we saw. So, oh, you can move kind of like the, uh, the node-based movement in, uh, or not node-based, but that sort of gliding. Sam, this is Hannah. Do you copy? Okay, I'll record everything. Put it on repeat till you get it. I'm down safe at 42872. That's latitude 4226 north, longitude 5618 west. In a town on some sort of organic ship floating on the ocean. Just incredible. There's no one here. The whole place seems deserted. I'm gonna look around, see if I can find a way to get to you at base one. Grant, out. Okay. So can we not turn around? I guess we can't. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of that sort of gliding movement from uh, the real-time mist games. Although I think this movement is pre-rendered. I think this is basically a movie we're watching. Okay, um, that looks like it goes somewhere. This does not. I kind of wish you could turn around in this game, but it seems like you can't. Whoa! I really like this landscape, though. It looks beautiful. I mean, for a 2001 game, this isn't bad. Okay, can I do anything here? Oh, there we go. I can turn around using that, apparently. Oh, I see. You drag it? Is that how it works? Okay. So you drag your mouse to move... to turn directions. Okay, I, I get it now. Okay. That's pretty cool. Not what I'm used to, but I, I like it. I kind of wish it was inverted, though. Like, if you do this way, you'll swipe... I guess smartphones weren't really around at the time. Alright, so there's nothing over there. Something tells me we're going to have to come back to that later on. Um, I've got a pen and paper and my phone here with me in case we need to take some notes, which I'm going to guess we will. Like I, I don't doubt we're going to have to take notes. Alright, so let's go toward this giant structure here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we can stop on these pod things. I'm not really seeing a whole lot here, just, whoa. The way it stops is kind of awkward. You really have to kind of do it ahead of time, almost, or just not go as far with the the cursor. Oh, this is now different. Okay. Oh, hey, there's more movement there. So what is that? I want to know more about what that is. Okay, let's go this way. I got it. Whoa! Sam, I'm getting something. Some optical effect. Huh. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Oh, wait a minute. This is a different... Can I look up? I saw, like, an arrow. Yeah, there. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. It's not the most intuitive control scheme, but... Oh, you can... Oh, I see. You can save your game there. Alright, I'm just still getting used to everything, so forgive me if I'm a little slow right now. I'm just trying to take in my surroundings and see what we've got going on. 
It seems like most of the paths are straightforward, though. So... So it looks like these are, like, full animations for every single path you walk. Unless this is just the beginning of the game and it's doing that here. Alright, so we can see another set of spires over there. And another one even further away. Kind of reminds me of uh, Anone from Uru. Except these look real. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. I think this is all just intro stuff to get you used to the navigation. Whoa. That's interesting. <clears throat> so we can't actually communicate with each other yet. So I'm guessing later on we'll be able to, depending on where we go. Maybe we can get within reach of each other. I just wish you could do something with that, though. That would be nice. Can I not go toward there? No, I can only look up when I'm... Oh, I see, because you have to swipe down to look down. So if I swipe up... Okay, got it. So it is basically the same thing. I'm just having to swipe in the same direction that uh, I'm heading toward, which is a little bit different than what I'm used to, because nowadays you swipe in the opposite direction of where you're going. What is that? There's like a green crystal or something there. Maybe those are just lights. I'm just going to say those are lights for now. Yeah, th these just seem to be markers or something. Alright, let's just keep going. Uh, are these two separate paths? I think they may be. Can I look at anything? We haven't been able to like examine an object yet. So, oh, hey, here we go. That must be the examine icon. It's, it's like... the mission lock of one of the scientists. Tomlin. Oh. There are still two entries. Okay. Let's check them out. What's the video? Day 97, 0920. I'm still on ship one. Can't find Ellis and Harmon. Don't know about the others. No one's answering. Travis said he was going to check out two again. He's almost got it operational. He thinks we should get over to base one as soon as possible. Says Angela's found something important in the tunnels. Day 98, 1352. No sign of Travis. Looks like I'm it. Anyone who finds this, get off world as quickly as you can. Word back to Earth. We're down to 14 personnel out of 92. We've got theories, but when it comes down to it, we're no closer to knowing what's going on than when we got here. The effects are worse than ever. Ghosts more frequent. Wish we had answers. Wish I knew what Angela's found in Bosch's tunnels. She always said putting our main base in that old town was the best thing we could have done. And she's been working on those texts for weeks. My turn soon either way. At least I'll get to know what's happened to the others. Effects? Ghosts? I wonder if they're the flashies I've been seeing. Yeah, I've been thinking that too. Picked off one by one. I'm wondering if there's any actual danger in this game, or if it's kind of like Mist, where uh, you uh, don't have to really worry about that. So I guess that symbol is, means backing away. So we can't go over there. Maybe that's where Tomlin lived. Can I look at any of this? Looks like maybe these were his pillows, or maybe pillows belonging to the other members of the crew. This is kind of reminding me of the Tal... Uh, not the Talos principle, the... Uh, the... Uh, oh, what is that game? The Turing Test. It has that same kind of... You have to find out what happened to this crew on a planet thing going on. So can I not go into that room? Apparently not. Can I look above? I want to go that way again. I'm just going to make sure there's no way to change that, but yeah, there's not. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this refers to navigation. Like, here, you can go forward, right? But over here... Well, no, it still has that. Oh, wait, maybe that means look up? Yeah, it means look up. Can I click on these to do... No, I can't. Okay. I was wondering if maybe those were like shortcuts to navigation, but apparently not. Alright, so I noticed we can click on this. What does this do? Ah, elevator. And it goes back up whenever we push that. Um, actually, I'm going to send it back up, because I want to see if there's anything under it. Wait, do we have to go in while it's there? 
Oh. So I can't just go in and stop before the shaft part. Alright. I gotcha. Can I go down? No, I can only go up. Alright, let's go up and see what we got. Interesting place. <laughs> Curious to know what these uh, ghosty things are. Looks like we're in the ruins of some kind of old town or something. There's a device here. And it sends over a little gondola. Kind of reminds me of uh, Todelmer from Mist 5. Oh, we, we automatically go into it. Okay, I'm going to have to get used to this sort of automated navigation. Where uh, you call something and you go right into it. Or you walk into something and it calls it. <laughs> um, I kind of didn't want to go here yet, so I wanted to explore the previous area first. Uh... Did it go away? Yeah, it did. Okay. So, it goes away after you get off, apparently. So that's why you have to get in right right then and there. Okay. Yeah, let, let's stick to the other side first, and then we'll check out what's over here. Oh, is that a ghost? I see a light. Or maybe that's just normal light. This is a very interesting style of game. Like, I was expecting to be able to, like, freely move the mouse around uh, and look around like in Myst 3, but you don't really get to do that. Your options are very limited. But I don't... I think when I get used to it, I won't mind it as much. It's just a different kind of navigation. This dragging business is kind of a little bit weird, though. Okay. People lived here? So where are they? According to uh, your buddy down there, they're gone. Oh wait, this is the same one. Okay, I thought that was over on the other side. Can I keep going up? Apparently I can. Okay, let's, uh, let's wait to do that. I'm wondering if these, uh, kind of, uh, window things were meant to be blinds of a sort, like a specialized kind of window. See, I thought the elevator we came up on was over there, but on the other side, but apparently not. Okay, what's over here? There's another one of those walkways. I'm gonna get really lost here. I just know it. Oh, hey, there's a door. Can I go in the door? I can't. Man, they're really restrictive of my options here. Okay. I'd be, like, knocking on these things. Oh, here we go. Maybe that's a knock. Is that a door knocker? Is it, like, Riven, where you have to knock five times? Apparently it's not like Doctor Who, where you have to knock four times. Alright, um, there's a bunch of bees or something here. I don't know what the significance of that is, but I'm sure we'll find out more. We've been seeing a lot of insect-looking uh, life forms around here, so I don't know... Yeah, like that guy. I don't know what that means, but this right here looks curious. Um, is this like a numbering system? I can't interact with anything here. So I'm going to take a picture of this with my phone because I'm suspecting that it is a numbering system because if we start off with, I don't know if this is, means anything up here, but this is one, two, three, and then maybe this is four, five, six. It's weird that this isn't like a line with three vertical lines beneath it. That's kind of odd. And then we get seven, eight, no. Well, wait a minute. So, maybe it's like base three, or four, I guess you could say, where it's like, this is zero, whatever that is, and then one, two, three, and then, well, I guess it's not base, whatever, because these are all unique, but, um, it's kind of like ribbons where it's segmented, maybe, and you have like a symbol, and then you add on to the symbol, so, like, this could be something plus 
this. So maybe this is actually five and then six. Huh. This could mean like four, right? And this could mean eight, perhaps? And these here could be nine, ten, eleven. So here's what I'm thinking. This is one, two, three, five, six, um, nine, ten, eleven, four, eight. That's my theory for now. I don't know if that's actually correct, but I'm wondering. Of course, I could be completely wrong, and it's not numbers at all, but... I'm also curious to know if there's ever going to be, like, inventory in this game, or... Because there's, like, a big space down here that's currently unoccupied. Does this do anything? No. Yeah, there's definitely more up there. Alright, I guess we'll go back. That's this way. This is all very interesting, for sure. I don't want to really switch over to Sam, I think is his name, until um, I'm pretty sure I've exhausted... Wait a minute, I saw... <coughs> Excuse me. I saw a magnifying glass thing. What is this? Ah. Uh, okay, so we can look at this, but apparently that's it. Okay, so there was an elevator there, we saw that. But I thought we came up... Yeah, I thought we came up over here. Okay, so first things first, before I... Before I do anything else, I want to see if... Um, you can go up on this one. No. Okay. So you can only go up and down once on that one. So you can only go before uh, through floors one and two. So maybe on this one over here... This is only two and three? Because the ones that are active, like the buttons you can get on, seem to have a glow to them. Yeah, I can't go there, but I can go here. So let's go up to floor three, and we'll see what we're in for first. I like how you can hear your own footsteps. That's pretty... Whoa! Is that, like, alien goop or something? I'm always a little nervous when I see green water. It's like could be boiling acid or whatever. I always find it... it would, I would be really pleasantly surprised if it weren't boiling acid, because I feel like in video games, green water is always bad. Like, it's sewer water, and it'll kill you. Or it's acid. Um, but, at the same time, they allow you to walk through steam pipes unscathed most of the time. Which, you know, I, I don't know. In real life, I would probably never do that unless I had to. Because, I mean, steam could really burn you. Alright, so I see two... Two paths? Yeah, you can go here. And there's something. Oh, inventory! Hey! I got a thing! I don't know what it does, but I got a thing. It's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Alright. So, I think this is all one long pre-rendered... Thing and you're going through it, but it's kind of like real time, sort of. I do think it's pre rendered though. Okay, why can we go up here? Also, I'm wondering if you, the game will indicate if you can use an inventory item somewhere. I'd be really curious to know. It's so quiet, no signs of violence or damage. Sam, there's a whole town here. I really do think it's some kind of living ship. Kind of looks like that. There's different decks we've been seeing. It's a, definitely a very advanced technology ship, for sure. And there's something here. Can we put that there? Okay, I can't actually use it. So I'm wondering if you can only use those in specific spots, which is kind of what I was suspecting. Ooh. It's a mission lock. It's a mission oh, lock! It's been wiped. Uh-oh. That's a little suspicious. Okay, now that I know what this is, I, I'm glad we've got it, because it's really nice to see. So, okay, you, it doesn't actually indicate that you can zoom in on things, but it does indicate which directions you can walk, which is pretty nice.
Yeah, because for 2001, this feels pretty advanced for a real-time game. I mean, maybe not. Okay, now we're all the way up here. Whoa! Find the plaques. They were deliberately scattered so we couldn't get back to Bosch. They navigational coordinates for operating the living ships, but they change all the time. Old ones won't work now. Must find ones. The new coordinates. Please help us. We're trapped in a trapped. He said, and deliberately scattered. Hmm. They were being stopped. What's going on here? So it seems like these ghosts are actually people who have been trapped in another dimension. Kind of Stranger Things style, I guess. So I'm wondering if they're actually here, but they're like phasing in and out. Maybe that's what we're seeing. Either way, we got this really cool looking fountain here. As well as, whoa, a flower? I have no idea what that's all about. All right. Interesting. Oh, I can go back. No. Why is it telling me I can walk forward? Oh, wait, no, that's looking up. My bad. I know I'm probably missing stuff, but it's all right. I'll, I'll fully explore this as we get more used to it. Okay, I think we made it to the top. There is something here, a control panel of some sort. Uh, hey. Okay, I think we found a puzzle. Huh, so that one's stuck around. Is this like a memory thing? I don't get it. We Okay, so that was wrong. So... I can only do that up to there, right? What happens if I try a different one? Okay, that worked. So that one goes all the way through to there, but it goes back to that point. So I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to send whatever that thingy is all the way up. Huh. Okay, we need to get our bearings here and figure this out. So let's just start from the first one. That sends it up. So there's five of these? No, six of these. This one goes two notches to six o'clock. That one does as well. Okay, so as, as soon as it goes back, then it's considered a fail. So that moves it up one. So it seems like if this goes up... Um, this one goes up, this one goes back, this one moves up. What does this one do? Oh, that one moves it up. That's nice. But that one moved it back. What? Huh. Okay, so as soon as you hit the last one, it resets. Okay. Okay, I moved it up by one, I believe. Let's try this one, because I think this one moves it forward. Yeah, that one definitely moves it forward. That moved it back. Oh, I moved it back again, really? <laughs> now it's taking multiple steps to get all the way back. Okay, so this one seems to move it forward. Or maybe it's just doing that because that's the first one. That one seems to move it backward. This one... Forward... 
forward backward. Why would you want to move it backward? I don't get it. So forward, backward, forward, forward, backward. So as long as I just use all the forward ones, I should be fine, right? Wait, that moved it back. What? What? I don't get it. So why does that one send it back immediately? Is that... Wait a second. Maybe the first move is given to you for free. Maybe that's what's going on here. So let me test something. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. If I use this one, um, I bet it's going to go forward and then backward. No, it didn't. Okay. Does this do anything? See, now that one moves it back. Huh. So maybe the key here is we just got to make sure that none of these... Nope, that didn't work. I'm thinking maybe you have to kind of alternate between the two. I'm probably not even close to being right about this. Oh, well, we managed to get all the way over there. So I need to get it to the last one. That That's the goal, right? So we know that pushing the last one for whatever reason doesn't work. Okay, four and two seem to be very promising. Let's try three. Okay, that does send it back, but maybe if I use one now, it will do something awesome. Yes! Okay, so four, two, three, one seems to be good. Yeah! Alright, there we go. I think we solved the puzzle. Okay. There's even more to see up here. I, I want to go back down and see what we got as a result of that, but for now, I just want to see what's at the... Is this the very top? Is this like a sail? Maybe that's what these blind things are, sails. Yeah, it looks like I... Either I can't go up further, or there's another way to get up that I'm just not seeing. And there's something here. This has a symbol at the top, and then it has those things that kind of look like the numbers. Alright, I'm going to take a picture of this, because this looks something... This looks like something useful. So, let's see... Let's see if this is actually going to come in handy later. I've, it's interesting how this is crossed out. I don't know what that means yet, but hopefully we'll figure it out. What is that? That's nothing. It's just a posty thing. All right, let's go back down to the flowery things and see if that uh, that did anything. See, so yeah, I'm not entirely certain what the logic behind that was. Um, I know there is logic. I just couldn't figure it out. I feel like I just brute forced it. I'm hoping that not all the puzzles are like that. Um, keep going, I guess. Yeah, because I think it was pretty far down, like over here. Whoa! Yes, good. That's it. Good. Okay, so at least he's happy with us. That's good. Um, where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Was it on this level, or is it on a different one? I think it's the... Yeah, here it is, right here. And I think after this, I'll stop for now. What is in here? Aha! So we got another one of these things. Thankfully that when that thing flipped around, it landed right side up, which I'm super thankful for. So I'm going to take a picture of this guy right here. And hopefully this one... There we go. I guess these are navigational coordinates or something? Alright, well, I don't really know... Oh, we, we got the other side to look at, so we'll, we'll do that next time, guys. So... I think we're going to stop here for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed yourself, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to get notified of the next episode. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you on the flip side.